Hi, my name is Sir Paul Bello. I'm an immigration lawyer in the United States, in the United Kingdom. Visit our website. Our website is down below this uh, video. You get all our details. You get details about me. Uh, you can book an appointment to see me. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, share this video to your friends. You see, when you like our video, then YouTube will be able to recommend it to a lot of people and then we'll be able to get more views because we publish our uh, immigration updates every week. Don't you like people to get the information? If people don't recommend our video to their friends, their folks, and they don't subscribe, uh, our uh, channel won't grow and people will be missing vital immigration information in the United Kingdom. You don't want this uh, valuable information to elude your family, friends, your folks, your neighbors. So please like and subscribe to our channel. So let me dive into today's topic. Today's topic is the shortest route to get British citizen to get British passport. The shortest route to get British passport. I repeat, the shortest route to get a British passport. The shortest route to get a British passport. Uh, uh, I don't know what kind of visa you are on in the United Kingdom. It is your best bet to get the United Kingdom passport. One of the benefits of getting uh, uh, a British passport or British citizenship is that um, you will be protected if you go abroad and there is problem, there is war or disaster anywhere. The British government will protect you. They, they will call the society, God bless uh, Britain, God bless United Kingdom, God bless England. We call this society a social, uh, responsible society, social care, uh, uh, country, uh, a welfare, social, uh, a responsible country. God bless the United Kingdom. God bless uh, the, the King of England. God bless the Prime Minister. And so, what is the shortest route to get British passport? So, as I've said earlier on, there are benefits in getting the British passport. Number one route, shortest route to get a British passport. There is a lot of routes. You need to come and see us. I will only mention few of the routes in this video. Number one, the shortest route to get British passport in this country is if you are on a tier one investor visa. With this tier one investor visa, uh, uh, it can, uh, if you are in the United Kingdom with a visa, you can apply for British citizen after two years. But the, uh, the thing with the tier one investor visa is that the minimum investment you are required to invest in the United Kingdom is about two million to five million pounds. So if you're able to invest in the United Kingdom, a sum of two million to five million pounds, you will get the, tier, uh, the investor visa and you'll be able to apply for the British citizenship after two years of sojourning in the United Kingdom. So that is the fastest route to get them. Um, uh, British passport in the United Kingdom. Another shortest route to get a, a, the second on the list that I've jotted down. It may not necessarily follow the order or there may be other scheme or other visa being brought out as I speak by the Home Office that will give you a quick route to get British passport but the second route that I've jotted down as I've said don't quote me 
but this is uh, uh, what is um, taking place in the present immigration climate in the United Kingdom. Uh, the second one of Jordan is marriage to a British citizen. If you are in the United Kingdom and you are married to a British citizen uh, and your marriage is still subsisting, that is your marriage is still holding, uh, it will take you three years after getting your indefinite leave to remain to apply after three years of lapse on top of your uh, indefinite leave to remain if you are married to a British citizen and your marriage is still subsisting and you got your indefinite leave to remain through the normal marriage route and not the um, the human right roots you will be able to apply for British passport up three years after your indefinite, indefinite leave uh, number one on the list of this quickest route is tier one investor visa as I said earlier around you need about two million to five million pounds to apply for this tier one investor visa. The second one on the list is marriage to a British citizen and your marriage is still subsisting after getting the indefinite leave to remain three years after you can successfully apply for naturalization. The third on the list is Global Talent Visa. The third on my list is the Global Talent Visa. The Global Talent Visa is a visa given to people who are of high academic report, that is, they are professors and they have achieved greatness in their field of, um, uh, of endeavor. So, and they can come to the United Kingdom on the global talent youth, uh, route. Um, uh, you can apply for naturalization or indefinite leave after three years and subsequently apply for your uh, British passport after three years if you are sponsored by the into if you obtain your certificate of sponsorship from the British uh, Academy, the Royal Academy of Engineering, the Royal Society, or the UK Research and Innovation Council, or the Art Council of England, or the Tech Nation, this must be as an exceptionally talented person. So if you are, were endorsed by all this body, after three years, you can apply for your indefinite leave to remain in the United Kingdom. So after three years, you can apply for your indefinite leave to remain. So these are the three, there's a lot on the list. Come and see us if you want to us to advise you on the quickest route to get your indefinite um, to get indefinite leave, yes, we can uh, uh, represent you to get indefinite leave in the United Kingdom and also to get your naturalization certificate. So these are the steps in getting a British passport in this country. You need to get the indefinite, indefinite leave to remain in the United Kingdom first and then you need to apply for naturalization then you need to apply for the British citizen with your naturalization certificate. We can help you on each step to apply for indefinite leave to remain, to apply for naturalization, and also to apply for British citizenship. Come and see us. Our address is down below this video. As I've said, I'm an immigration lawyer qualified to represent you from beginning to the end. Come and see us. Uh, book an appointment to see us. Thank you. Ciao.